How's it? Welcome back to the channel. So in yesterday's post, I referenced Time Release B6, and I was commenting how it's my favorite Lucid Dreaming and or DreamWorks supplement out there. What's up, my son? Okay, almost done. And then a buddy of mine was saying how he wanted to try it out for the first time. So what I thought I would do for today is give a quick like summary or recap around Time Release B6 and, you know, using it for your dreamer practice. So over the years, I've done a bunch of experiments, trying out different supplements here and there that are supposed to help with your dream clarity and vividness or dream recall and or your lucid dream in practice. And the most consistent and well-performing one I've found over the years is definitely Time Release B6. Now, it's not the most strongest or potent. The strongest one I would say is galantamine. But then like the half-life on galantamine isn't that long. So you basically have to do it with wake back to bed, but then it fires up my brain so much that I have a hard time going to sleep. So I'm awake for like an hour, an hour and a half. And then by the time I go to sleep, you know, it's not really working in my body as it should be. But, uh, you know, so the most consistent one I've ever tried is Time Release B6 for sure. Now, if I had to compare it to something, I'd say it's kind of like mugwort. But, you know, the problem with mugwort for me is I'm always, or the problem with me with anything, right, is I'm always concerned about the half-life on it and how long I can expect it to be lasting in my body. And because I've never come across Time Release mugwort, you know, I just have this belief in my head that I can't expect it to be working like, you know, the full eight hours or whatever that I'm asleep. However, you slap like time release, or I guess sustain releases, this one is, um, is called, on something like B6, and then that worry is gone from mine and it seems to, you know, work all the way through the night. And in the past, I did accidentally buy like regular B6 versus the time or sustain release versions of it. And that one didn't seem to work as well either. So I do think this time release stuff or sustain release stuff does make a difference. Um, also, with it just being a basic vitamin, I don't think it's really dangerous to be taken for like a prolonged stretch of time, like every single night in a row, as opposed to, you know, maybe even something like mugwort, but I'm thinking more along the lines of galantamine. I don't think I'd want to be taking that like every single night for like weeks on end. Um, the other thing about this too, is like it doesn't seem to be dose dependent. So I have tried, you know, I'm doing some of my different experiments to take like double the dose just to see if that boosted my dreams up even more wasn't ever able to notice something off of that. Now, if you're a lot bigger than me, so I'm like 160 pounds, you know, if you're like twice my weight or something like that, then you probably, you know, then you might want to take double the dose. But for someone around my weight, I find the recommended dose to be more than enough. Also, I've never noticed um, like a tolerance built up towards it. So when I have taken it for like, you know, a week or two straight, you know, I didn't notice it uh, all of a sudden stop working as I've, you know, just string all these days together. So that's another really big bonus. So yeah, to sum it up, I think it's great. Um, oh, I should also say this. Now it doesn't, it doesn't make a huge drastic difference, you know, you know, to, to your dreams. Like it's a pretty subtle but noticeable change that I have noted directly inside of my dream journals over the years, where it just seems to boost my dream clarity, vividness, and recall to a noticeable amount, but not a huge amount. And in fact, if you were just to go ahead and Google, you know, like uh, B6 and dreams, you know, a lot of the studies and stuff out there say the same things, although, if you, you know, Google some other supplement like mugwort, it probably says all the same stuff on there too. But for me personally, I found this to work a lot better than mugwort. So yeah, that'll wrap it up anyway. Until the next video, keep the lucid dream in practice and your supplements legit.